Many obese people in the U.S. turn to surgery. But what if you could trick your mind into thinking you actually had that operation? Courtney Garish is here to explain. Yeah, we're talking about using the power of hypnosis to dump the pounds, convincing the subconscious you had surgery. It's cheaper, there's no recovery time, and a local hypnotist tells us it really works. You're being rolled down a hallway to an operating room. You see bright lights, smell anesthesia, hear the beeping of machines. You're about to undergo obesity surgery where doctors make your stomach smaller to help shed those unwanted pounds. We always go deeper asleep. Except none of this is real. It's all about tricking the mind. And we'll use hospital sounds, um, we'll actually um, use gurney sounds. And this Wisconsin woman believes the power of hypnosis will work. It has to work. There's no other choice. I have to lose weight. But some surgeons are skeptical. I worry a little bit about that um, being sold as kind of a lifelong solution. Look at your motivation. Tammy, who doesn't want to use her last name, has found her secret to weight loss in a tiny office downtown Eau Claire, Wisconsin. You're right on track. Tammy wants to drop 100 pounds. I've, I'd say, struggled with weight most all my life. This is her third session with licensed hypnotist Kellen Marson. Up to this point, Tammy's therapy has been about discovering why she overeats. Each and every breath, relaxing you. Through hypnosis, Marson first gives his clients behavior techniques. Hopefully they can find one that will work for them to help them kind of eliminate the cravings and the desire. You feel safe and confident. This is Tammy's pre-op session where she meets her team of doctors. And behind the desk sits the surgeon. The next visit, Tammy will have her operation, in this case called hypnoband surgery. The surgeon will gently tighten the band, which will make your stomach smaller. Again, none of this is real, but Tammy will think it actually happened. Our subconscious mind really doesn't know the difference between reality and fantasy. Now, the surgery is more than just a surgery. There's a lot of uh, preparation and education that we do for people. Dr. John Gould, bariatric surgeon at Frederick and the Medical College of Wisconsin, worries about the severely obese patient. He feels hypnosis won't treat their underlying medical issues and, he cautions, won't be a long-term fix like surgery. At the end of the day, there's also a physiologic uh, issue that I, I think the hypnosis is not going to address like a device and a surgery will. Joan Boudreau had obesity surgery three years ago. She lost 140 pounds. And I wanted to see my grandkids. You know, I don't have any yet, but I want to see them someday. Despite her surgery success story, if she had to do it all over, Boudreau would try hypnosis first. So if you can trick your mind into believing certain things, you know, why wouldn't your body just follow suit? Your stomach already feels smaller. Which is exactly what Tammy's banking on. And now we hit five, eyes open, wide awake. How do you feel? <laughs> Very relaxed. And so far, so good, says Tammy. And I just don't feel so obsessed with food. She's already lost 12 pounds and is ready to tackle the rest, the power of hypnosis. This virtual surgery was actually developed in the UK. Only Marcin and one other hypnotherapist in Wisconsin are doing this. He does point out therapy along with the hypnosis is actually what makes this approach to weight loss work. You need both of them. Yeah, well, it's interesting though. Now, Courtney, what about the cost? A lot of people wondering about that. Well, this, you're gonna <laughs> love this. Marson only charges $250 for the program. If That's it works, excellent. it's money, money well spent. <laughs> right, if it works. If it works. He okay. says you have to be dedicated and want to do it. Better so. than thousands for gastric bypass. Okay, thanks, Corey.